Whether you're driving down the road or visiting a park, there's a good chance you've noticed the art that's been popping up in the South Loop, a phenomenon that's really citywide. Right here at Civic Plaza, with a art gallery, a mural on the corner of the building, several pieces of sculpture on the grounds. Up in Pen America, and the developer uh, commissioned a sculpture that's on the corner of the Fresh Time building. It's all part of an effort to engage with the community and make Bloomington a place people want to live, work, and play in. There is a changing expectation of cities and that's that they go beyond providing the basics of parks, a house, a workplace, streets to connect them together. Residents and people who work here and people who visit here expect the city to be interesting and engaging and that's what this whole position is about. That's Community Development's Larry Lee and the position he's talking about is the Director of Creative Placemaking and Community Engagement a lengthy title with a simpler job description. Help bring more art to the area and get the community involved. A position that stems from the South Loop Creative Placemaking Plan that was adopted by the City Council and the Artistry Board of Directors. At Artistry, our role in this project, which is a long-term project with the city, is to really work on the arts side of it, to help identify artists, identify sites where great art can happen, and that's permanent art, temporary art, but what we will gain in the partner of the creative placemaking director working for the city is somebody who can really build on those art investments to generate the kind of excitement that Larry is talking about. The other half of the job is community engagement, and what that means is there's a changing expectation about uh, residents' interaction with the city as well. So up to now, it's been okay if a city just did a good job of telling people what it was doing. More and more, the expectation is that uh, there needs to be two-way conversations and the city needs to take the initiative in starting those two-way conversations. To take on that job, the city hired Alejandra Palinka. She's most recently worked as the executive director of NEMA, which is the Northeast Minneapolis Artists Association, which has been an incredibly successful organization under her leadership, and it's probably best known for Artaworld, which is the country's largest open studio tour. The position will be funded in two parts. The South Loop Development Fund will support the creative placemaking part of the job, and the general fund will pay for the community engagement piece. A city and an arts organization are two very different kinds of entities, but together we really get great work done. And this hire is just another addition to the great partnership that's already added so much color to the city.